Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I live in the UK and the Northern Hemisphere and so you'll most be very familiar with all the targets that I can take. I'm very jealous of some of the targets that are in the Southern Hemisphere and I've always want, really wanted to be able to get an opportunity to get hold of some of those targets. Recently Logan Carpenter who lives in New Zealand reached out to myself and to uh, my friend Joe uh, from joesastrophoto.com to join him in the Southern Hemisphere and actually take some of the uh, beautiful targets they have down there. I'd love to visit New Zealand one day. It's uh, a beautiful country with some absolutely stunning scenery. And it's got some really lovely people. Joe, did Dylan O'Donnell get back to you? No? Okay then mate. Alright, yeah, we'll, st we'll stick with New Zealand then. Okay mate. So I'd like you to join me while I collaborate with Joe and Logan in New Zealand and take some amazing images of some southern sky targets. The Statue of Liberty and the Fighting Dragons of Aura. My name is Glenn and you're watching Astro Bloke. Hi Logan here, um, standing in my observatory down in Auckland, New Zealand and this is the setup that's been used for the imaging um, and I'll just run through what we've got on the system at the moment. So the main imaging scope that's being used is the Skywatcher Esprit 120 triplet refractor and right down here at the back um, that's collecting all the nice data is the ASI 2600mm Pro which I've only just recently received and bolted onto the system. Um, I've also got the ZWO 7 position 2 inch filter wheel with the Optilong narrowband filters and the Beta LRGB filters. Mount this the Ioptron CEM 120 and uh, I, I really am enjoying this mount. Um, it's got uh, a ton of inputs and outputs for power, USB 3, and then it's got this really nicely organized cable management system, which means that uh, I don't have to have any cables running from the telescope down to the ground. It's all quite separate, um, everything up top, um, cable through below, and as you can see, there's nothing in between here to get caught when the telescope is slowing around. So that's a quick rundown of the equipment that's being used um, tonight to image some of the lovely southern hemisphere targets we've got down here um, to view in little old New Zealand. So um, time to close off the roof and uh, wait for night to come. Back to you, Joe and Glenn. Still can't get enough of this roof going by itself. So cool. And cut. So that was a breakdown of Logan's equipment, really nice stuff actually. The CEM120 was a mount that I actually um, really wanted at one point, but was having so much trouble sourcing one, I ended up with the EQ6R Pro. Anyway, Logan had everything set up for us and we arranged for a Zoom meeting so we could all meet and get the acquisition done by Joe and I taking over his observatory and controlling everything. Poor Joe had been up since 5am the day before and uh, we didn't actually start um, the process until midnight for him so he was a little bit tired so he got the rough end of the stick with everything. I just had to get up really early in the morning and Logan was just in his normal routine and it had been become the evening for him to start imaging. So here's a bit of the interaction between us, uh, we had a lot of fun 
and uh, the acquisition of the two targets that we took. <laughs> Hi Logan, nice to meet you uh, sir. Hi Glenn. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm new I'm new to all this kind of um, this stuff and so I'm trying to get everything to work and at the last minute I decided to rush inside from the observatory and do it inside the house because it's warmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry Logan, we fumble our way through this technology ourselves, <laughs> you know, it's not <laughs> we might look like we know what we're doing, but we don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the advantage of editing a video, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we do a lot of editing. <laughs> will your cat? Will your cat be joining us? Uh, no, I don't really. Care. No, I think no I'm just. just I'm just kidding. Somewhere on a chair. Actually, given her chance, she'd be sitting on my lap. So yeah. <laughs> we were laughing. So, so you're six p.m., aren't you, Logan? Yeah, six p.m. So you're six a.m. Seven a.m. Seven daylight saving. And and Joe's midnight. Midnight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Joe looks yeah. like he's been up all night. I look like I've yeah. just dragged myself out of bed. And <laughs> Logan, you're looking pretty <laughs> fresh. <laughs> yeah, I was, we've had weirdly, I like I got a new this new camera, so you know expect like you know two or three weeks of bad weather, and um, we've had oh was it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and tonight Saturday clear nights. Nice. Wow. Unbelievable. So I've been imaging each night, but usually till about one o'clock in the morning because I know that I've got to want to do a bit more the next night. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we've just, Joe and I have both been completely clouded out for the last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's like a horror film. They're going to say you've got an extra arm. <laughs> <laughs> I've woke my son up. All uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just had like this freaky hand on my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? I heard that, that was funny Shut on a Saturday. Door, then hopefully okay, uh, Logan yeah, will be working. able to offer you some northern targets when the weather sorts itself out. Yeah, that's, that would be, that's that's be cool. Yeah. Hi, are, we re are we ready? Well, yeah, it looks play. good, Joe. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Okay. I'm Call so up that Joe. Drag up that uh, that that scope so we can see it in action. Oh yeah! Oh look! <laughs> and by the time you're running, I don't know how many amps you kind of need, but by the time you're running a whole lot of you know bits of equipment on there, including heat straps and stuff mm. like that, which I have to have because we get um, a lot of dew. Yeah, me um, too. I, I was finding what's, that, what's that? that? Shut up, Joe. <laughs> he, he's, there he is with his bottle three in his dry sky. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> like we what are we oh humidity is low tonight at seventy six. Yeah. That's good. It was up at ninety four the other night. See, Joe Logan's my kind of man. He knows how to he knows how to image in the shower with uh, with security lights in his eyes. He's not like you with that pitch black dark sky, no no humidity, you know. Yeah. I mean Joe's so lucky I'm surprised he even gets the moon. <laughs> <laughs> not long to go now. No. This is this is gonna look Joe. This is gonna look great, Joe. You're gonna stay up. It's gonna look so good. You're never gonna go. Have you pushed pause, by the way, Joe? I did not. I forgot. <laughs> You'll have to watch another one then. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay, time to zoom in. Yeah, that that's. Oh, there she is. So there, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on the side. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, I see we'll, her now. We'll I see we'll her. Get her the right way. There he yeah. is. There he is. <laughs> hey, Joe, you look like you just got <laughs> up. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, Actually, you're right. You, it, is, it is morning. It's 12.48. <laughs> oh, you're doing really well, Joe. I felt, I tell you, man, we felt for you. You must be so tired. <laughs> just a little bit. I've had... Uh, I got four hours of sleep, so or yeah, he's three and a half, half, three. Yeah, you'll be fine. So we're on the fighting dragons, Joe. Oh, yeah. that looks awesome already. It does, doesn't it? The weather in Auckland, New Zealand, was kind to us all, and it stayed clear all night. So we was able to acquire data on two targets: the Statue of Liberty 
and the Fighting Dragons of Ara. Um, both absolutely breathtaking uh, targets. Bit of a challenge with the um, editing as none of us had ever, well, Joe and I had never edited these targets before so it was hard to uh, know what to expect to come out of them. But I really enjoyed working on them and the detail levels are, are really, really something else. Um, Logan was uh, a, a real gentleman, helped us with everything, got everything set up perfectly and uh, allowed us to have full control of his observatory for the whole night which was really kind and I can't wait to repay the compliment so Logan will be coming to the UK to use my observatory online and I'm sure he's going to be going to Colorado and using Joe's gear as well so I'm sure there'll be some more videos on that experience anyway thanks ever so much for uh, joining me please check out Logan's channel because he's got some other great content and some uh, lovely targets down there and until next time please take care and I wish you all clear skies Thank you.